to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. James, <laughs> oh boy, Did you start you starting off strong today. Well, you starting off strong today. You're starting what? off sexy today. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You Couple a, days of partying. Boy, out and about, out all and over about. the town. Oh my gosh, just oh, just drinking, partying. <laughs> no, yesterday we had. The Area 51st. Birthday party for birthday a child who turned turn one. <laughs> birthday party? <laughs> yeah, why not? That's always a thing, too. You turned know? one. Um, and success, I think. Yes, yes. How you, do you, you feel? You were amazing. Um, look. That's, what I, that's all I wanted. End of show. I don't know how you... <laughs> and good night, <laughs> and everyone. And good night, everyone. Do you hear that? This will be a one minute and a half show. Thank good you. night. Thank you. Wearing we are glasses. all done. I have been crying. Now listen. Have you? Now he's one. Uh huh. The other kid, kindergarten, right? Sweet little baby going to kindergarten where yeah. I cannot protect him or help him. No. The, everything that I've taught him up until this point, and that's, he has to. It's coming up soon. That's coming up in like a week. Yes. Yeah. Man. So I did the like cleaning up after the party last night, like crying, you know? Really? A little, I mean, a little bit. Okay. Um, it's, it's interesting. You know, if you listen to the show, you basically know us and I just say everything. Sure. Right? Yeah. I pretty much don't not tell you guys anything. Right. But I essentially was having two babies at the same time as far as we were building this media company. Right. As soon as he was born. So I have a lot of, which I'm sure anyone who works and has kids has... That like guilt a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Right. Where I was trying to raise two things at the same time. Yeah. Two babies in separate places who could not be together with the other one. So I don't know. So you're kind of like, fuck, he's one now. Yeah. The little baby thing of just being a baby. No more. I know. I know. Now he's a man and he should get a job. Now he's a man. He's walking around and... That was the other thing is I was like, yeah, let's have a one-year-old birthday party. I did not get to talk to anyone or hang out because... You're watching a one-year-old. I have a one-year-old. Yeah. Around a bunch of big kids. But I think that, I mean, that was the main thing. Just wanted everyone else to have a good time. It was nice and to have everybody host. over from the neighborhood, have a party, and uh, just hang out with everybody. Because um, that's what we ended up doing. Yeah. You know? And that's all it is. And the kids, you know, kids were in the bouncy house. I don't know how you found uh, an alien bouncy house, but you, you did. I did. It pretty much just spawned the whole thing because I'm looking through and I see that and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Let's just do it. <laughs> Again, he's one. What does he fucking care? He's not able to say. No. Hey, I want to have a, what Jax asked for. He's not able to make any decisions. Right. Last time Jax was like, boss baby party. And with copyright, you guys know if you ever try and do any kind of themed party that's yeah. Disney or otherwise, Pixar, yeah. you're going to have a real tough time. You can't do a cake. No. None of the places will do a cake because it's copyright. Right. Written. Copyright. Yeah. Wrote, written, One of those whatever. things. You know, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, yeah. Know? I remember a couple years back for our son, um, our, our oldest. The other one. Yeah. yeah the other one now. Um, for we, the other kid. I tried to get an Elmo cake. Yeah, you can't. No. Oh, my God. Stop. That's why. They, I mean, they looked at me like, oh, like no, you were dumb. You've lost your mind. Are you kidding me? We can't put icing in such a way that it looks like a, the, a, a character uh, from something. Yeah. Without you Especially, getting paid. And so Elmo, you guys know if anyone has kids, you know, Elmo is the I mean, the most off limits. I think it's a little bit better now. I was able to find some at least decorations. But if you want someone to make something special for you, no way. Um, boss baby, they laughed at me. Yep. They're like, oh, please. Yeah. Um, so I end up doing like nondescript, like basketball party. Right. Yeah. And he's like, I don't even like basketball, but <laughs> it was the thing that I could get everything made and bought. 
Yeah. Without having to do anything myself. So you're into basketball today. You know what I mean? It's a strange thing because artists can do a painting of someone. You could paint Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Um, and then sell that portrait. So what's the... I don't know. What's the fucking story with icing on a cake? I know. I don't know. Who cares? That's you what know? I say. But um, yeah, so I've learned over the years to keep, to keep things non Very nondescript, yeah. Um, very like... They could be like, we, they're like, we could put a baby on there, but like, it's not going to be. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So whatever. And then our kids will grow up and be like, I don't understand why we had all these generic theme parties. As yeah. a child. Well, copyright laws, kids. Sorry. You're having a blue party. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're all wearing blue. Everything's blue. Isn't, isn't that, that fun? Isn't that rad? Yeah. So anyways, riveting. The fun is being sucked out of America, absolutely, James. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. But you killed it. You're always on point with Thanks, this, this stuff. You're Thanks, uh, man. a great mom. Oh, thank you. Which is very, very nice. Um, yeah, I, but I think that's, you know, the takeaway from it was just like, dang, we did it a year. Like, he's a year. Yeah. I, I look at it that we kept a, another human alive for a year, and that's yeah. more for us. Um, yeah. For me, I probably don't get as emotional as... You know, you do about it simply for the fact. You're not a little bitch. Is that what you're going to say? God, it's just, he's still very colicky and uh, we had two colicky kids. But that's the problem too, is that we have difficult, they're, they're hard when they're younger because they have stomach issues. So it's like, you hate to want them to grow up, but right. that's what you're feeling. And so it's hard because I'm like, oh, I just want you to be like, not so uncomfortable and not be able to tell me just a happy little kid and and the weird thing is is you know once our once jack's grew out of our oldest he's like the greatest child of all time right so hopefully homeboy will be the same but we'll find out i don't know he's uh you know it's leo season right now ah hashed pound sign pound sign leo season you're gonna see that a lot is he leo he's a leo i know nothing about astrology nor do i care so like i didn't even look Right, right. I didn't um, even look. I don't. What is Jax? What's 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 Hims? What's Hims? So Jax is an Aries. Hims, Hims mm-hmm. is an Aries. All Hims right. is an Aries, well, and then good for him. So he's kind of more like me, and then Jagger, I think, is going to be more like you. They're very Leos, apparently. Very uh. out there. Very stubborn uh, and loyal. Is all I can really say. All right. We'll find out. I don't put any stock but in But you're going to start to see hashtag Leo season, guys. Oh, so boy. I don't, I don't put anything careful. into astrology, nothing, you know. That's okay. Uh, I get, you know, because uh, I'm a Pisces and it's like, oh, water sign. Is it? It's, here's, it's a, here's a, here a is fish. an example of how astrology is BS, right? We're both Pisces. Yeah. Born two days apart. Two days apart, yeah. So I guess you could find some similarities. I would I would urge you not to, but right, we're very different. No, yes, yeah. yeah. I, I I think we're we're totally different. And um, I mean, we look we have the same sense of humor and uh, values about family and life and things like that. But like, sure, but th- the rest of it is completely opposite. Oh yeah, I'm a creative genius. Um, mm-hmm. and you're super handy. Right. You know. Right. Um, Crafty. Yeah, you're a great cook. Sure. Um, Those are not uh, signs. I'm great at barbecue. Of, of That's not part of the thing, huh? No, no, I don't think it says under there, Pisces. Great, great at barbecuing. Great at barbecuing. Yeah. Barbecue master. None yeah. of that, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know the traits of the sign? Because I don't. I didn't bother. Well, I'm more like a Pisces than you are. Like, I don't know well, what, what... I, so what is the definition of it? Because I didn't so even know Pisces that. Pisces is more just like kind of go with the flow, get along with everyone. You sort of swim through life. Kind of just like you can fit in anywhere. You can sort of I make your way. don't do that. You don't. But don't you feel like I do? Yes. So there's some trait, which again, it is bullshit, right? You could probably find some trait in Yo, yeah, every yeah. sign that you are like, right? Yeah. So having said all that, if you do look at what traits of a Pisces are, maybe we should just do it. 
Eh, pull it up. I've uh, never even looked one time in my life. Well, you I just don't, don't care. You don't care. No. Yeah. I, I think, you know, I think your, your, how your parents raise you um, determines a lot about who you are as a person. Um, I think there's, there's certain things that, you know, you're, you're born with talents and, and other things like that. I don't. Nature I, I, versus nurture, right? It, yeah. It has nothing to do with what sign you were born under, you know? Right. Um, something super fucked up happened to you. Like it's going to affect the rest of your life. Yeah. Or if something unbelievably One, great, it's going to affect the rest of your life. You know, if yeah. you were rich, it'd be super easy to hashtag go with the flow. You know, like, oh, great. Sure. Yeah, just drift through life. That would be super easy, but it depends on your financial situation. But I've never been, like, rich, and I've always just been like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Good or bad, right? That's so, true. Empathetic. Mm. Mystical. Wild, right? Real wild. <laughs> well, that, that one I'll give myself Romantic. Short. Yeah. Right? Impressionable me no not me not you yeah yeah but you could tell me i mean i would have gone to jonestown do you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah you would have because it looked beautiful and like everything if they would have so caught great. you around 26 27 you would have gone to jonestown i would have been and drank the Kool-Aid. with jim for sure yeah imaginative all right pleasure seeking well yeah pleasure seeking definitely Equals drunk yeah and uh classically uh we like our alcohol. Ah. Not to say that we're good at it. Not all of us. But, but uh, I feel like everyone likes that. So what's, why is that just for ours? Yeah, you know it's true. It's true. Girl, you know it's girl. girl you, you know, know it's girl, girl. You know it's girl. Um, so I, I, yeah, I look at all that shit with a grain of salt. And then uh, I don't take any stock in it. Again, didn't even know what my children were until you just, until you just told me. How crazy is that? I don't think it's that crazy right <laughs> i don't think it's that crazy i think that a lot of people listening will be like oh shut up it's very it's turned into a super basic white bitch thing to yeah. talk about right yeah whereas before it was some kind of i don't know kind uh -uh. Yeah. yeah i've had i've had relatives who were into that it's shit and they yeah. would sit down and talk to me about it mm -hmm. and i was like fucking save it man I don't need it. And two spi two spices, two Pisces. Yeah, <laughs> two spicy Pisces. You went hard this weekend. Spicy Pisces. Pi Pisces are not supposed to be together. Really? Yeah. So we're star crossed. That's that's. We are not star crossed lovers. We are not supposed to work at all. Two Pisces. Oh my god. Really? Nightmare. Yeah. Didn't know that either. Nightmare. Nah. And you know, I guess sometimes that's true. Stop caring. Stop caring about it. You know. Leo season. Yeah. Astrology. What up? It's sort of how you end Hot Girl Summer. Mm. So this is what they're doing. So it was Hot Girl Summer and you sort of button it up with the Leo season, which is just out there. God, all of this sounds terrible. It's so great, isn't it, guys? I'm just trying to keep you abreast of all the white girl shit that's going there on. There was somebody who came up to me Saturday night and asked me what I was doing for Sad Boy Fall. And I thought that was really funny. Was it Maddie? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she that, loves that it. Really Her and Chelsea actually loved that. They're like, oh, dude, we're so into Sad Boy Fall. <laughs> and they were like, but they were like, hey, what, it, what is it? Like, what do we do? And I'm like, pretty much anything when it starts raining or it's cold mm -hmm. or whatever, cozy, anything you want to do cozy wise or, or, or anything, it's no longer guilty pleasure. It's just going to be you do your Sad Boy, sad boy sad Fall boy fall, and yeah. don't feel bad about it. Okay. Stay in bed all day with the pajamas no pajamas i don't know yeah do whatever you want underwears only watching peggy sue got married do you know what i mean like yeah. something good old nick cage yeah vehicle. or just do yeah do a nick cage marathon right into a martin short you know all of martin short's Oof. earlier stuff boy his character do we talk about that, that about what? him on seinfeld on uh comedians and cars getting coffee that you liked it you didn't mind it I, yeah, I thought Martin Short was great, and he was really funny um, in that. Uh, I and I typically don't like Martin Short. You love him. You hate. It's an ongoing joke with us. Yes, you hate him. Yeah, and I love him. I just don't like that style of. <laughs> I know his comedy. Whatever, right? It makes me. But laugh he was one so of the much. best guests on comedians and cars getting coffee because he was so, so 
dry. Remember what he yep. was saying to that waitress? Mm-hmm. And uh, God damn it, I laughed. It's just very subtle under the breath. It's that like thing that I do where I'm like, sure, sure, sure. It's a lot of that. Where when, when someone else is talking, the little things that he says in between. Why hasn't beautiful. he been cast as that, though, is what I don't he get. He doesn't do I don't think he doesn't that. want to do that. He doesn't that, yeah. do that. But like, he could. He could. And so in his, like, interviews, he's done a couple. He's done stuff on, like, his friends' cooking shows. And he'll be, like, normal person. Right. Certain places. And I think it's, I think he's the funniest then, right? Yeah. But maybe I transfer it, transfer that person over into his weird characters and i think almost he is making fun of himself i don't know yeah yeah yeah. i don't know but he's old school right second city bullshit like i found it fascinating how he only hangs out with normal he lives in a normal neighborhood normal people and he's the only hollywood person there oh yeah um so it's pretty funny because he was saying like they don't really know what i They know what I did or whatever, but like on a daily basis. And that's how I felt like. Yeah. What was he talking about? People getting really excited about tennis or he's saying something like you just need something to talk about when you're older. Right. Tennis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They were saying Larry David plays golf just so that he has, you know, something, (laughs) something other than like Hollywood shit to talk about. Right. Because that's what. Yeah, I, so I get pulled into a Hollywood conversation at the at the birthday party, right, with some mm-hmm. of the parents over. They were like, well, "Can we see the book? Like, what do you do?" And I was like, "Well, I'm a you know author." Yeah, I saw you running out there with the book. I'm like, "What do you do? What are you doing?" Well, they asked. They, they asked. asked. They I was asked. like, yeah, "Okay, because yeah. okay. I don't I don't offer it up." No, we're I don't not going to like. Up. Oh, I don't really this. Want- and you like dropped it. Oh, whoops. I don't. I don't really offer up anything that I do. No, I know. me neither. Um, and uh, so when they asked, I was like, "Cool." Even then, it's like, and this is out today, so please go buy a hardback. Thank you for my service. Uh, is out today. Even then, with my name on the book and everything, and they were like, so how does that work? How does that work? And I'm like, well, I... That's my favorite Wrote, I wrote it, and they were like... that I can't have anymore. Great. So, like, you just sit down and then think, well, no, you know, if you're doing a biography, it's interviews. I it was like, a, you know, if you're doing works of fiction, like the other two, like... At night she cries and uh, when darkness falls, then you can just make that up or whatever, right? And they were like, huh. And it's just in bookstores, right? That is my dream, right? Is um, to I'm get like, yep, to the point, yep, yeah, yeah, where it is. nobody's, they would feel uncomfortable even asking you, right? Yeah. Because they know <laughs> what you do. Everyone in town knows what you do. New York Times bestseller. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah, want to yeah. jinx it, but... My thing would be like, I would love to, at least if podcasts get big enough, you know, in the, in the lexicon, whatever, that people don't have to keep asking me, A, how it works, how do I listen, Yep. how do I find it, <laughs> how do you make money doing that, making me feel like I'm just playing around all day. It's is crazy. literally what they make me feel like. Uh, and, and- so that's Fun. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I would want to do that. And you're like, it's super fucking hard. And yeah, <laughs> like I because because Dan to my co-host and Jared and those guys like from Drinking Bros, they were like, so I don't understand how you get paid. It's like, well, we have sponsors who pay for the show and everything or whatever. And they're like, it's like talking to huh. Zuckerberg. And they go, we don't Man, understand how you make money on it Facebook. So- it sounds like a radio sh- uh, station. I was like, well, it's what it is, except it's new. It's just free for you guys and you don't have to pay for serious xm and you're like wow huh that's something and it's always the same thing and you're like yeah 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 Yeah. like the guy that sold earwolf for what was it 50 million yeah yeah. (laughs) way back in the day (laughs) what do you do they still ask him so what did you what it had you yeah doesn't matter anymore right because he's not in the he's not in the business anymore he took his money he's like i was tired of people just not knowing what the fuck i do and when i explain it to them here's the other thing when i explain it it sounds stupid yeah right i sound like i'm just playing around yeah like you're some little dumb dumb out in the world youtube video yeah Yeah. (laughs) we're just shooting youtube stuff oh you're just making like youtube videos no i don't know i used to have a joke when i was like trying to be an actress like moving you know and i would tell people like family uh you know anyone that would ask in town sure. when you know when you're graduating or whatever 
And I would say I want to be an actress and it's like, oh, wow. But if I had said like, what, rocket scientist, something in neuro, whatever. Right. Someone's super like so like a, hard. If you're a neurosurgeon, then right? be like, all right, They'd cool. be like, cool, awesome. That'll be fun. That sounds Trying like a Trying to be an actor. Oh, I, so it's going to be really hard. I, I went through that with like everybody I went to high school with and college with until the new guy came out. Right. See, but, I didn't have a new guy. Well, so the, pro- I'm the still problem. Explaining yeah, the I problem did. problem was was I I shot it and it didn't come out for another two years after that. So you were still explaining in that time. I had to hear that for years, yeah. and people thought it was a lie or whatever. And then finally, after that, it was just like, oh, okay, cool. But then you start directing and producing your own movies, right? And you're like, well, how do how do I see that then? How do I see an how independent see film? It? And I was just like, oh, God. Where do I see that? Sometimes I wonder if you were just better off on, like, it's one of those shitty, like, reboots, uh, like Hawaii Five-0, right? Hawaii Five-0 or Bluff, Blue City, Bluff City Blues. Yeah, whatever the fuck they Bluff are. City, Bluff City Law. Yeah. When you were like, oh, man, I'm mm-hmm. on Hawaii I'm Five-0 on, City, on, on yeah. CBS, you're like, ah, oh, shit. Right. Nobody watches it, but that to them would be like, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. I even I'll get people that see Ghost Bed. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Right? They'll see a real ad on their Instagram. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh my gosh, you guys. I saw like ghost bed. I'm like, you guys must be. I mean, that's like real. Yeah. I'm like, yep. Whole we thing's have real. Real sponsors yeah. that really pay for us to talk. Yeah. I don't want to tell you that anymore because <laughs> it makes me sound retarded. So please. Just let me be. I don't ask what your freaking husband does. No, I don't ask what anybody does. Maybe that's impolite of me, I guess. I don't know. No, I mean, it's like we kind of know what Nick, Nick is. You know, he works for Cisco, right? Yeah, Nick yeah. But, but there's other friends that I, anyways, I have yeah. no idea. Unless it was no brought idea. up to me. I, know, I have no I, idea. No. I don't we have another ask, friend man. that might be in some kind of mob situation. I don't, we don't ask. Who knows? Yeah. We don't ask. You know what I mean? Don't ask. It's a cash only business. That's fine. Yeah. We have don't another ask. we have another friend that basically gambles, probably, for a living. Yeah. Not sure. Yeah. But you know. Don't ask. What I don't do care. you do? I don't know. What does anybody fucking do? We just try and like survive. <laughs> right? <laughs> what do you do? What is it that you say you do? Well, I drink coffee in the morning and I drink wine at night. And that's pretty much how Yeah. That's all you need to know about And then me. the go-between for the other 12 hours is just trying to stay alive. Look, it's just trying to get from one substance to the next. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? From A to B. I'm trying to get from coffee to wine, yeah. friend. And sometimes one comes earlier than the other. Just something wet in your mouth, you know? Right. Just keeping it wet all day long. I just try and keep my... Ooh. Say mouth. it. Mouth. My yeah, mouth. there it is. My there mouth. it is, James. There it is. Um, but yeah, man, I fucking... Uh, I hate answering that question. I hate. Uh, but and that I was, hope that when this book does something, you won't have to. But I almost feel like even then. Nope. What does that mean? No. The New York Times. No. So what have, does that mean? What does that, what does that do for you? You get no paid idea. more? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. It's just the New York fucking Times. Like, I don't know. Best selling author. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I remember having this conversation at, uh, with Clayne when he had gotten on uh, Lethal Weapon, right? Right. He'd been in 30 oh movies yeah. at that point, a it bunch of stuff. A, it wasn't an overnight thing for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... When, when we were at a Waffle House, somebody came up and said, hey, man, I, I really love the show, whatever. And I was like, the biggest, the best thing about all of this is never having to describe mm-hmm. what you do mm-hmm. anymore because mm-hmm. you're on a, yep. uh, a, a bit like a, just a normal network TV show. They might not even like your goddamn show. Yes. But they are, they're ants but they, because they know and yes, they're like, hey, it's man. traditional media. And I think that really... And I hope that, you know, a freaking book is traditional media enough, <laughs> right? The, the first media, if, if you will, I would argue. Yeah. Um, is that going to be enough, you know, yeah, for people not. to be like, oh, okay. Probably who's, not. Who's that? He's an author in town. Yeah. Not, I don't know. They make you TV. So I would hope, but th- that's the other thing is like, if you just got on one show on traditional media yeah just for a second yep 
just a flash, an extra. Well, they just flash not, your face. No, that. I'm just saying, like, they just flash your face somewhere on ABC, right. CBS, right. Fox, NBC. Famous. You'd be famous in, I mean, in the whole neighborhood. Oh, yeah, be yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. If because I was on some shitty, you know, one S- talk show, one SVU thing. Yes, or, yes, yes. You know, Blue Bloods or something, like, yep. it'd be like, whoa, hi, there's a celebrity stump, in the house. Stump, stump, stump town. town. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Click, click. Click function. Click, click function. There has been. You're trying to make the worst show names ever. By the, the way, night. so we've had this ongoing joke with us, you and I, where it's like it a show. in the Bachelor, so you guys know. Yeah, and the, and the shows look good, and you're like, man, who is oh, in charge sweet, of that name? Sweet. Yeah. Um, the first one was uh, Whiskey, Whiskey Cavalier. Cavalier, and they just they kill it during like Bachelor or Prime Time. They're just so many. Yeah. Previews for it, teasing it, and again, previews, te- and then it's in the like corner. A fine Whiskey show. Cavalier. Yeah, look like a fine it show. Like a fine show. I'm sure the chemistry Worst was great and title funny. of all time. So the newest one, so that's gone. Whiskey that's gone. Cavalier, no surprise, yeah. didn't work out. The next one's with uh, Kobe Smolders. Smolders, um, f- who uh, was on How I Met Your Mother for 90 years, right? Yep. And she did all those Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. Um, her new show, where it, lo- it, it appears as if she's a detective. Yeah, but kind of like a boozing, you know, boozing on the wrong tomboy. side. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. Like doesn't doesn't play by the rules, cap. Yeah, captain. Kind yeah, of thing. and uh, it's called Stump Town. Worst title of all time. Which which show are you on? Stump Town. Stump Town. Oh, now are you? What would you say that's about? Uh, stumps. Bunch of legless Stump people town. out in this fucking town. Stump, Stump town. town. I play a detective. Yeah, boozing. We're looking. Hard we're, we're crime solving for all the people who get their fake legs stolen. Stump town. But why stump? Town? No I idea. Mean, people always have questions, right? So, and I t- and I turned to you and I was like, God damn it, man! Who is naming these shows? Because it looks they look positive. They look pretty good for the most part. And I I, I was like, What's the worst name we could think of for a show? And you you just blurted out, click click click, click function. function. <laughs> And I was like, is the, it just is the first rolls off the tongue. Is the first click part of it? And you're like, yeah. yeah. And you go click, click function. <laughs> and I was like, you're right. That's coming to CBS this fall. But I was going to say, it's like got the best cast. It's like your dream show. right? Yeah. It's like Sam Rockwell, Margot Robbie. I mean, it's per- <laughs> it's like perfect. Amazing. Old school Hollywood, whatever. James Spader. Yeah, What's and you're it like, called? Nice. Click. Click function. Click function. You're like, why? What? Why? Why do and I then need it to won't turn work, and then that? it will fail because of the name. Why it, not just? I don't know. Just make it fucking easy. Like Executives are notice. so fucking dumb. I got a, I got a, uh, an email from somebody, longtime friend. Um, she's a brilliant writer. Uh, f- fuck man. Her name is uh, Heidi Honeycutt, and um, she's a brilliant writer. I've known her for maybe 15 years, I guess. Um, she covered all of our premieres, everything, and she was like, dude, I love your movies. Um, her and her husband have been trying to make movies for years, right? Mm. Um, and TV shows and everything else. Uh, in the meantime, she just keeps up picking, picking up writing gigs. She's mm. a super great writer. And uh, uh, writing for magazines or online articles and that, that type of thing, right? And the last post she put up maybe last week was she was just like, I... I think I have it figured out now. Um, she's a little older than me, um, but she was like, after all of these years, executives don't really want to make your show. They just want to make the piece of shit that they mm-hmm. want so they can go home and tell their friends, I made Stump Town. Right. Like, th- I named it Stump Town. They were going to call it something else, like, mm-hmm. you know, Blood Streets or whatever. Right. And it's just like, no, let's change it to Stump Town mm-hmm. because I did that. And that's 100% true. And one time I went to dinner with a huge, I, I'm not going to say, he was the president of a, a massive movie, movie studio, right? Okay. And uh, who, who was about to put um, uh, one of our films out. And he was trying to impress this girl at a, at a dinner we were at. It was maybe 12 or 14 of us. And he was going through his laundry list of movies that he had made. And they were impressive. I mean, we're mm-hmm. talking like fucking Armageddon and shit like that, where you're mm-hmm. just like, cool. And he was like, you remember this one scene with, with this happened and then this other thing happened? And he goes, it was my idea. I did that. 
And it was like, man. Uh, and I remember, th- I, and I knew what movie he was talking about. Right. And I went back and I thought about it. And I was like, that was so out of place in that movie. Yeah. Now it makes total sense that you were the that fucking idiot. really Wanted to put your handprint mm-hmm. in it. And then you called them and said, hey, man, we're going to do this in this movie. And you're like, God damn it, man. Um, but that's what it is. That's what it is. So if you're, if you're at home and you're watching these shows and you're like, what, what the fuck happened with the, the name of this or the title of this or whatever? That's it. That's, that's it. exactly Someone what happened. Someone was like, you know what? I love this. Yeah. Click, click, click function. function. CBS, CBS, nine o'clock on Wednesdays. After right, no, right after the Bachelor. Yeah, yeah. So it will at least get some like a two minutes of viewing from everyone. Because I think if, if memory serves me correctly, Whiskey Cavalier was on after the Super Bowl. Was it? I think I so. Because they were going hard. Thing. Okay, they were going hard on that thing, and uh, they'd spent a shit ton of money on it, mm. and it just. You know, brown the bed. Click. Yeah, clink, clink function, though. <laughs> um, that's why we have sponsors that are super easy to say. Uh, like ghostbed.com. Speaking of. Forward slash drinking bros. Ghostbed is just ghostbed, man. It's just fucking easy. It's Great. real. It's the only thing that, that lets our neighbors know that we are a real show. Because <laughs> they're like, this is like a real company that like is good. I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, I'm good. So, it's great. Mm-hmm. And they, um, they think I'm good. So. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress. Yeah, I will say this at the party. Everybody from the neighborhood bought them. And they were just like, hey, we love Ghostbed. It's amazing. That's crazy, you know? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Oh, yeah. The best goddamn mattress on the planet. Uh, best pillows, all of it. Huge fan of everything at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. As always, 15% off to anyone who's military or first responder. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and, and go shopping. Go shopping. Um, and if you're a regular human like myself, they're going to have a bunch of deals coming up for uh, Labor Day coming up. Oh, um, nice. Which is in like two weeks. Nice, nice. nice. Um, yeah, the year is absolutely flown by where I'm like, fuck, man, are we... Already in Leo season? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Not one... <laughs> Not one of those. You The other day you were like, are we already in Leo season? Yeah, not one prayer. I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know what the thing is before this season. Hot girl summer. I'm sorry. I don't know how to. Yeah, what's the, what's the planetary bullshit? What is that? Well, that's not real, so. Oh, all right. Oh, what? Before Leo? <laughs> I have no idea, man. No idea. Nah. I don't care. I only follow I don't even know when the dates are, to be honest with you, of, of any of these goddamn things. But I do know the best deals you can get on mattress scissor at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Uh, get on it today. As always, 36 months, pay as you go program. No interest. No one on the internet is doing that. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. Boom, boom, boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. A lot of Strad kids yesterday. Oh, yes. That wasn't even a way to keep through that heat. Yeah. The humidity was something else, man. So now I know, too, having an August birthday. Mm-hmm. Hot. Not sweet. It is not sweet. Hot. Uh, the stinky. other one, the other one's April. So yeah, so he's good. He's good. It's always, you know, yeah. there might be a little bit showers, but That's mostly kind of beautiful outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, man, that, that humidity, we were pounding down these stratkas just trying to stay alive. I know. Um, or you would have died. Probably. Without Strike Force, I feel like we would have uh, had a couple casualties for sure. Yeah, because you need to drink at a child's party as an adult a because lot, there yeah. is 40 kids mm-hmm. running around at running top around, speed, fucking shit up. Destroying yeah, your something, life. Yeah. And you hear something break, you know, it's something in your house, and you're like, great, how much is that going to cost me? Fine, yeah. What am I getting rung up for, for mm-hmm. this today? Uh, so thank you, Strike Force, for keeping us going during that heat. A lot of Stradkas. It's Strike Force and Vodka. Four amazing flavors. Orange, original, lemon, and make America grape again. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. As always, no carbs, no sugars. That's why everybody, dudes and chicks, drink it, and it's, it's great. Uh, it tastes better than the fucking LaCroix that I'm having here. You know? Yeah. I put a little a strike force in this thing. You have to. Yeah, you do. LaCroix is, you know. Lacrizo. Flavorless. La, 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 Let's be honest. Lacrizo juice. They put the pictures on the outside so that you're... Th- 
you're thinking of it when you're drinking LaCroix, but yeah. it tastes like. There's a hint of some form oh, of flavor and you're like. There's yeah. not. It's all mental. You know that, right? Yeah. It's Go, all just normal soda it's water. It's all the same. Mm -hmm. And they put a picture of like a watermelon outside and then you're like, oh my gosh, I think I, I think I taste it. Yeah. You don't. No, there's you don't. There's nothing in there. You definitely don't. Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you're right. Oh, James, come on now. Come on now. That was. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. That was a little big. You are welcome. It was a little big. You well, killed our producer. He's fucking dead. Uh, <laughs> Straightrazors.com is uh, what everybody's shaving with. Shaving them cheeks. Getting ready for the clapping. Yeah. Some people that's said they want to be fucked by the aliens. So shave it up. Shave up that butthole of yours. Uh, still do doing that? Keep it nice. Keep it's it real into a music nice. Music festival, a metal festival. No, it's gonna pick up, and oh, uh, okay. shit's gonna get wild on September twentieth. Oh, okay, cool. um, but before you go, shave up. Put a little product on. Everybody asks what the clone is. The clone is smolder. It's the best. I fucking pick wear it up every that day. That little thing right there. What? A little like cylinder right this? there. Yeah. yeah. That's some kind of powder for the balls. It's a nice little thing for the uh, face. You know, you you apply oh. your shaving cream with oh, it. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, it's a fine like the old company. School, like, yeah, it's brush? a brush. That's it's awesome. Brush. Um, they're they're the fucking best, man. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code Revolution twenty percent off, and uh, you can get one for your daddy. Hey, daddy. Hey, you want? Oh, you want to shave for me, daddy? What? That's what. That's how people talk to their fathers. Blah. Blah. Promo code Revolution twenty percent off at straightrazors.com. Or you can just type in, you want to shave for me, daddy? No, you don't type that in. That will get you nothing. Stop confusing. That will get you nothing. Um, but if you uh, just want to say it out loud, you know, think it through the computer. You want to shave for me, daddy? Shave. That's what I want You're in my life. You're not going to make that happen. So, I mean, we're just going to like... <laughs> I think I, I am. pay it no mind. Go to Jesse's Instagram no, at Jesse stop. Wiseman and then just write, just write, you guys shave for me, daddy. Um, and then see what, what happens. It's uh, a Jesse Wiseman, you know? It's a boring vortex of. You guys shave for me, daddy. Selfies and children. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> stop. Uh, you can shave a turtle with it too. That's a, that's a new thing. You can shave a, you can shave a turtle real clean. A lot of people don't know this. You can actually just pull a turtle right out of their shell and then stick it right back in. No, you can't. Yeah. Yep. And they need a shave, too. Because underneath that shell, there's no, a little tortoise can't. hair. Yep. And you can... Uh, oh, that's can making me sick a little pull bit, it to clean be out. with you. That's what I want. I want to be rich enough to get shellless turtles where I can just hang out with that's these wrinkly lizard, little bro. green that's a things lizard. that just roll around. Imagine how soft their bodies are, too. Like, And then you just roll them around on the floor. That's what I really like when people come over to the house and you're like, oh, hey, watch for Shelby. What? Oh, that's well, that's my turtle without the shell. Super rich. I had that shell removed. It was just kind of taking up a lot of space. Now this just rolls around on the carpet. And that's a fun thing for me. You know, <laughs> it's still real slow. You can just see this, this turtle without the shell. Just, just kind of like yeah. Green. Yeah, you can roll it down the Brain. stairs like yeah. a silly putty and then just. Oh, yes. yes just a, yes. a turtleless shell is what I want to get into. Shellless turtle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I want to talk about a crazy story here because the, the streaming wars are heating up here with the, the networks, right? Obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, they dropped the full trailer with humans today for that Reese Witherspoon, uh, Jay Aniston thing when we talked about a couple weeks ago, right? So they dropped a teaser trailer. They dropped the whole trailer. Looks good. Um, good for Apple on that. They, they needed to come out with a banger, and mm -hmm. it looks like they did. Mm -hmm. um, but the the surprising one was uh, Seinfeld is going to be up for sale um, soon. Their contract ends with Hulu, I guess, in twenty either twenty 2020 twenty or twenty twenty one, and the price tag they're saying is a half a billion dollars for Seinfeld shows. A half a billion. Yes. 
And by Could the that way, be the next thing like Friends or The Office. Well, that... Friends in the Office got bought. I know but it was like, undisclosed, but Seinfeld is, had a resurgence. is going for a half a billion. And what I didn't know and, and how I found this out was they stopped Jason Alexander in an airport mm-hmm. on TMZ mm-hmm. and they were asking him about how he feels about it. And he's like, well, I'm cool with it, but you know, we only get residuals off of it from acting. He goes, I don't own any of that. Um, and I guess that was the source of contention. They said in this article that. Uh. The reason why it ended at all was they were pissed off that they didn't own any, any of it. And Jerry and I guess, uh, what's his, what's his dick? Um, Larry David owned all the back end for that. So like there's the syndication money they got and the, the others didn't. It was Michael Richards, uh, Julio, Luis Dreyfus. Mm-hmm. It's, it's Julio, right? They're good friends. So I wonder. And then, uh, and then Seinfeld, you know, it's strange. If you didn't create it, it's hard, man. At to, a certain point, you have to be like, okay. You were just hired actors, one. Yeah. Two, they made fucking two or three hundred million a piece. So, like, you know. And then, like you're saying, if it's on TV, they get paid? Yeah, you get residuals every time but it airs. if it gets The problem is, to... the more times it airs, you know, the less money you get and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so... Uh, it, it is what it is. It's still nice mailbox money, but they, make, they get so much goddamn money. What do they care I guess they cared at the time. Yeah. So. Yeah, but you know how that goes. It's like once you become such a big part of something and you feel like such a big part of the success. Yeah. But that's the problem is you got to get those contracts in the beginning. Yes. And you you have no power as an actor to do that. So like that's what that because you don't think anything's going to blow up or do well. And and I just read this story about Stallone, too. Hey, hey. Uh, he was pissed that he didn't own. Rocky, like uh, rights to Rocky and shit, right? Right. Um, and he was just like, look, man, I was the franchise. He did create it. And right? I wrote, directed it and everything. Yeah. But. Um, that one's a little different, to be honest. Yeah. So what they, what they said was, look, man, you don't get any of the merchandising and the rights, but we'll up your back end on the, all these projects. Because uh, one of the, the guys heard this interview that he did, and mm-hmm. one of the guys from the studio came out and was just like, hey, man. I don't know what he's that pissed about because we did give him back end. So mm-hmm. the next movie, he made $38 million off of it. And it was like, yeah. what would you expect at this what point? You, you know, like, yeah. What you bitching? But yeah, but that's like with anything. You can't start working for a company and then once it like starts doing really, really well, go, hey, can I get some, so some, points I get some on equity that? in this? And they're like, no, man. No, you can't. <laughs> for sure not now. Yeah. So you can do it when the, the, the company's smaller. So maybe they just negotiated way too late, dude. I guess. I guess. Uh, other top story today. Uh, the Winklevi, um are uh, back at fucking Facebook. How so? Um, they're they're going to get rehired. Um, so we'll see. Um, they, they said they've uh, announced plans to uh, to enter the crypto world. Facebook has with okay. Libra and another named after another fucking Zodiac sign. You want to guess who signed that probably is Zuckerberg's. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, what a lot of people don't know about the Winklevi is after Facebook and they got all that money and all that other shit, um, they put a lot of their money into Bitcoin. Oh yeah. I didn't and know everybody that. thought they, they were, were idiots and they, and didn't they have to, they had to go to more freaking, uh, law, like, uh, oh, yeah. court cases, whatever about it. Right. Yeah. Cause I did watch a documentary on Bitcoin. So but they, they were made all over it. a gajillion dollars off of that. So they're getting rehired to help Facebook with their, their cryptocurrency. World. Isn't that crazy? What a world guys. A little Man. bit of time and a little bit of money can really heal all wounds. Yeah. It Don't doesn't you feel? just doesn't matter anymore, does it? No. <laughs> if there's enough time between, you know, Aniston and Pitt, friends. Did you ever think you'd see the war- the day? Yeah, I did actually. You did? I did. Yeah. I didn't God, think they were going to I mean, it relentless continued to be right up until they were seen. Where it's like they still on People magazine or these they would have a little thing about it. Yeah. Jen still upset. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I did not think I would, I would see the day. So, you know, what a world. I did. I, I definitely did on that one. Um, okay. I just think they seem like two level-headed people where it's just like, all right, cool, man. You know, it's, enough time has passed. Right. But, Both have been married. But I, but I knew again. that Angelina had to be out of that picture. And I yeah. didn't think that was ever going to happen, by the way. I did. You did? Yeah, her cold, dark soul. I knew something fucked up was going to happen. Uh, and then your, your beef fry, your Meghan Markle here, under fire. For what? Yeah, just bitching about the climate and climate change and, you know. Flying private. Yeah. yeah. You heard, so you heard about this? Mm. That's what I don't get. Even that, that World Summit that it. we talked about, you know, the Climate Change World Summit, a hundred and what, 17 or 137 private jets to get to the Climate Change Summit? Yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing anymore? Uh, I would love to see the Royals in just first class on a plane of like Delta, just going through the same shit that we do. Do you Wouldn't imagine? that be crazy? <laughs> I just, I don't know how you can come out and speak against it, to be honest with you, when that's when that's your fucking life every day. It's kind of like all the, the rich fucking Democrats who are running who yeah. bitch about, well, yeah. you know, people being poor or, or races being poor or not having enough things. And it's just like, Hey man, you're super rich. Like I can't even hear you say that. Why, why are you telling everybody else how to live your life when you don't live but like you that? You have to be rich to run for office that high of an office. Yeah. So, you know, in order to even get in the position to try and help the people that they want to help, they have to be rich. Yeah. So I don't know. Strange, but yeah, don't bitch if about climate. If they really when you're... are going to do that, I don't know, but do not bitch about climate change when that's going down, man. Because uh, you know, God damn it! I mean, they're everywhere. They fly everywhere too. It's just killing the world, you know, killing the world in private. And I'm not, I'm not shitting on them for that. But I, I look, look, if we ever got to fly private full time. Mm-hmm. I would never tell anybody about climate change. I'd be like, hey, man, I'm part of the problem. <laughs> and it's fucking awesome, brother. Yeah. That's showbiz, baby. Yeah, I guess. Huh? And I'm in it. <laughs> and I'm in it, baby. Uh, I want to talk about Good Boys that came out this weekend. Uh, Seth Rogen's new uh, production. How to do. Crushed. And it's really, really fantastic news for uh, comedies in the industry. Uh, again, that's why I moved to L.A. at all. Um, a lot of people ask me why I don't make as many movies anymore. Comedies are really fucking hard to finance and they don't do well overseas uh, at all. So you've stopped seeing them. They've stopped making them. I've bitched about it on the show for a long time. It takes somebody super powerful to get one greenlit now and you've got to do it under a certain budget, which is what they did with, with Good Boys. It's about 12-year-olds growing up in middle school, mm-hmm. and it's like super bad for 12-year-olds, mm-hmm. and they're saying fuck every other word and all this other stuff. And everybody said the movie's hilarious, and it opened up at like $21 million, um, which is fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, because the movie only cost, I think, 28 to make or something like that. Uh, all unknown kids. Well, Tremblay. Every, oh, that's right. What was he in? Room and... I think one other pretty big movie, but got it. He was the kid from the room. Okay. What was that? Was that the Brie Larson movie? Where yeah. She's trapped in it. Yeah. I didn't make that much money. Uh, no, no, but it won the Oscar. awards and he was all over the place with it. Gotcha. But yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, th- that's really, really positive news. So I'm amped about that. Yeah. Um, Cause hopefully we can start seeing more comedies uh, in theaters, but uh, yeah, it's going to take somebody big. Somebody big. Judd Judd Apatow can still do it. Yeah, and Seth Rogen, like, what was the last, the last, like, funny movie that I was surprised about was that Christmas one that he put out? Oh, yeah. And we were like, whatever, we went. It was the only comedy out. Yeah, it was good. And it was really funny. Yeah. And we were like, holy shit, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was him. It was. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I I definitely enjoyed that movie, man. Um. So he's he continues to do it. I mean, Sausage Party was funny, animated, but it was funny. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Good for him. They're they're calling him the reigning kings of comedy today, and uh, and all the uh, Hollywood shit. So ah. okay, he's still a bit of grind out hits. I know. I know. Uh, 
Apatow's working on that fucking Pete Davidson movie. Yeah, butthole ass. What is he doing with him? He's gonna have his own starring vehicle, and uh, they're either sh- I think they're sh- they're shooting it, or they just finished shooting it. It's a bad idea. So it'll, it'll come out next summer. I think. Butthole eyes. Bad idea. Yeah. Don't like him. I, I don't know if he lives that much longer. Don't like it. Don't like him. <laughs> don't like Apatow to to be honest with you right now. So no. He's just off the rails, man. Me neither. We've had a bunch of comedians. I don't think you can be funny if you're that distressed and distraught about the world at all times. Yeah. You have to find some comedy in it. Well, we've been doing you're these bonus shows on Drinking Bros podcast with a bunch of comedians um, who roll in, and uh, they all say the same thing. They fucking hate him. Yeah. I think they always have. But there was a time, and there still is, if you're if you. If you're good with him, if you're a stand up and you get in good with him, you'll be in one of his movies, right? Yeah. So he has that kind of the like dorky, annoying, rich kid that you can swim in their pool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you hang out with them, but really you just want to get to the pool. Um, By the way, uh, your girl's sticking around, Marianne Williamson. (laughs) Oh. What did I tell you? You better watch out for me. I'm a dark horse. I think she might make the next debate, actually. I would love it. I would love it. The people have spoken. Um, Mary Aniax. She's on. uh, What is that? What is that? Yeah, she's on the trail right now in in Columbus, Ohio. It says today. Oh. Talking to people. Yeah. Like on the campaign trail. That woman is on it. An actual presidential campaign trail yeah dude you've got kardash oprah yeah, and oprah yeah yeah you're gonna be on the trail because you have a really good chance unfortunately in the world that we live in <laughs> if you have the kardashians and oprah behind you you'll get somewhere i'm yeah. not sure how far but you guys might be surprised <laughs> oh watch out so she You're describes herself as a, she's been doing this thing called in the, in a, a Course in Miracles, and it's a self-study program of spiritual psychotherapy. Mm-hmm. So sure. I don't, I mean, maybe she's reaching out to these people who are in this thing. It was a very small group who showed up for her. I'm but. sure. I'm sure. And it is a small elite group that loves her. I will say that. The hilarious thing is if she does make this next round, which, you know, was originally going to be six uh, candidates from for the debates. Now, I think it's bumped up to like 10 or 12 now, right? Mm-hmm. She'll have more time to speak. <laughs> and that's what we all want, people. That's a win for, for all of us, James. I know. You guys want her to be in this debate. I promise you. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's just Dream nonstop of comedy. would be her debating Trump. Dream. Uh, be that great. would be a dream. Be great. The two of them going back and oh, forth would be two amazing. Of those crazies. <laughs> It'd be fun. If it happens, man, I'm all for it. Yeah. You know? Um, but uh yeah, we'll see. What's the equivalent of like Rostradamus for me? Uh we'd have to make something. We, we'll kind have of, to come up with something we'll catchy have to come for up you. With something if it ever happens. Yeah, a catchy little jingle for you to workshop, mm-hmm. you know? A little moniker, a little nickname. Mm-hmm. Did you say she would actually get through to the next thing? Yeah, well, I'm saying watch out. I'm saying with those kind of endorsements, just watch out. If you're not careful, she could get pretty far. Well. Just saying. Yeah, she could hang around. I, she I could would, hang around. I like to see her speak more than Beto. Yeah, definitely. Anytime he starts, it's just like Eeyore. Yeah. When he just starts talking, uh, uh, it's just, I am. It's the worst. It's the goddamn In my worst. town. Yeah. We have been dealing with. This thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. So like, it's never upbeat. No. It's never like. I Not just one hate single him. time, yeah. I just hate him. But it, it, look, he'll, he'll, he'll be there, I think. Yeah. They, they will not let it go. Somebody's bought his way in. Yeah, they will not let it go because they have put to, they've invested too much, right? Whoever's invested in him. Yeah. They went all in and now they have to like push him through to some kind of uh, final round, right? Yeah. The, uh, that 9-2-0 ended up tanking in its second week, by the way. 
Yeah. That reboot. I told you, everybody would tune in for the first one, and then once they saw what it was, they were like, we're out of here. Uh-huh. We're pulling up our stakes and getting the fuck out of here. It's too weird, dude. Yeah. Too weird, and it makes you feel old, and it's not fun. I felt bad about myself. They didn't do myself. a fun reboot of like, yeah. It was like, I'm going to make you feel depressed about A, how old you are, yeah. B, where our fictional lives have gone. We're all depressed now. I don't know. Didn't like it. No. So I, I don't think it's hanging around. You know, there was a, a question whether or not they're going to get picked up for another season. And uh, they might eke through another season, right? Yeah. Maybe. No, I, I don't Green, think so, actually. Though, I think that's it. That'd be the only reason I'd continue to watch. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. So uh, we'll find out. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. Uh, this one's a sad one. This is going to uh, oh. going out to uh, Cedric Benson, uh, right. running back from Texas. Um, I put him as revolutionary because I, I didn't think I didn't think a guy would ever beat like break the records of like Ricky Williams, and he got pretty goddamn close and uh, ended up having a, a decent NFL career. But he was plagued by injuries. Um, he died in a motorcycle crash. And uh, uh, it was late Saturday night, and um, man, he was just a good all-around dude, and like he was like a fucking video game watching him play at Texas. Mm. Couldn't stop that guy. Uh, he was one of the best college running backs in, in history, in my opinion. Um, you know my creepy thing that I do when everybody dies. You go to I go to their Twitter, mm-hmm. see what their last tweet where it was. It, but I think it was like my Saturday evening and like put a picture of his bike. Yes. And he was going to. Of his like, motorcycle. And it was on, it was on his Instagram stories. Mm-hmm. And he just said, hey, my Saturday evening. And it was a picture of just his motorcycle. My motorcycle. And it had and a bunch had of a like heart emojis. Him, right? and, yeah. He had a girl with him. On TMZ, they actually have screen grabs because they have footage of it, which is. Oh, uh, did they really? Sad. Yeah. They're like, we're not showing the video, obviously. But they have screen grabs of. The, you know everything being up in flames people rushing to try and help but it just was way too late what happened did they say crashed into a minivan Oof. and everything just went up i guess it just looks like just flames instantly even when people are running over to try and help and i'm not sure what happened to the people inside the car mm. people had fire extinguishers like it was man very disturbing and really tragic and sad so but you know Fuck, man. Motorcycles. I don't know one friend who has owned a motorcycle and came out of it. And All right. No, that's not any sort of, you know, no one, whatever. There's a lot of people that listen that have motorcycles. There is a hundred percent. I just, but I, the injury, it's just, so I don't, funny. not one single one of my friends has come out unscathed without a really serious injury. No on, one I on know one. either. And everyone I know that has a motorcycle has been hurt. And um, it's not even, it's not even, mo- by the way, it's not even the, the motorcycles or the people riding them it's you can't predict what a car it's is gonna cars, do and basically. yeah so it's not the people on the bike no it's the cars it's that other don't people out there look man, out for you who don't see it yeah so um and then the other one was that uh that dale earnhardt crash man seeing that footage dude you hear about nightmare shit like this and you're like how bad was it because there's no way a family could safely escape an airplane crash man that thing went down, up in flames, and it was the whole back half, so they must have been sitting towards the front, luckily. Luckily, or they got to the front in time when they were crashing, whatever, and they are, with a baby and a dog, being rescued from a burning plane. Yes. It wasn't like they got away nope. first, and it burst into flames. Like That thing was they up really downplayed in flames, it. yeah. yeah. They really, oh, they're safe, they got away, blah, blah, blah. And I, I was like, man, nightmare, because they were like, oh, they're they've been taken to the hospital for precautionary things or whatever. No, man, that was a violent a plane crash. Yeah. That, <laughs> like, yeah, you'll think about that forever. I don't know how you get on a a jet after that. Or maybe you do. It's like all these crashes are freaking private planes, like these little things. It was it Pink's all Pink's people, her manager and all that stuff. They were on a, another one that crashed. Private. Um, yeah. Uh, even uh, Jay Anus. Uh, she was on one, and the the wheels yeah. popped or whatever, and they they had to fucking land that Couldn't thing on sticks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 we almost lost Jay Anus. 
Now, are you Jennifer saying Aniston. Jennifer Aniston? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The J anus, I don't love. I think it's going to catch. It really hasn't yet, and I think that's probably why you've been saying it for a really long time, and no, no one likes it. No, you really it. gotta, you really no gotta one give it has a few. Responded to it, a because it's like who, and b it's fair, it's a gross name. Nah, I think J anus might uh, might catch on. Look, a rod caught on. It's just a rod. It's completely different. It sounds like a penis. It's completely different. Yeah. Oh, it's a rod. Maybe if you were saying like Janus. No. When it's J anus, it's almost like click click function. You know what I mean? It's like very <laughs> the hit TV show that CBS <laughs> wants you to never see. <laughs> click click function. <laughs> Nine o'clock Wednesdays. All right. Uh, James. Yeah. It's fun. You threw a hell of a party. Oh, thanks. You're actually like, and this is why I don't really like the signs of all this shit. You do so many things well. That like you really can't define it to some astrological sign, like because uh, you make you, you you made all the food by hand, all everything. I grilled like the champion that I am, but yeah, uh, and you did great at you that. You made all the and you decorations actually, with how hot it was. That was the champion move. My God, man! Jeez, everyone was like, "Is he okay?" I'm like, he's standing in front of a fucking grill in a hundred degree. 100% humidity, but I think you might live. I had to, I, I've never had to change my entire At like a party, in the middle of a party. Yeah. <laughs> after just cooking. But you jumped in the shower. I was like, hey man. Barbecue. You gotta get back out of here. <laughs> no, I just, I, I was just toweling off. I was like, man, well, this is crazy. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Go out and buy. Thank you for my service. It is on sale everywhere. Bookstores, airports, Amazon, all of it. And then hopefully next week when we can report some good news to you. Ooh, that we're going to Olive Garden. Holla! Good night, everyone. Good night.